As an educator, I'm often asked why significant figures are important. Here's one scenario that will help you understand where and why we use the rules we learn about significant figures in the real world. Let's pretend you're hired as a chemical technologist for a company that produces pharmaceuticals. For one project, you have to pour 32.5 milliliters from a collection vessel and separate the liquid samples into seven equal parts in seven test vials. Using a calculator, you calculate the size of each sample by dividing 32.5 milliliters by 7, and you end up with the number that you see on your screen. When you record in your logs that each sample is 4.642, etc., milliliters, you find yourself in trouble with the lab shift supervisor for recording the inaccurate measurement. Double checking your calculation, you find that it still comes out to the same number and you decide that you need to be more accurate by using more digits. Using a calculator with a larger display, you decide to record a number that's even longer, such as the one you see on your screen. We have an extra 86 at the end. Again, an email arrives the next day encouraging a more accurate measurement. Frustrated, you use a calculator application on your PC, and you find out that the number is even more accurate. Take a look at your screen. Now I want to ask you, why, as the technologist, have you made things worse? Why would this final result be considered inaccurate when it's reporting and sample size to a position smaller than a trillionth of a milliliter? Now, obviously, our technologists, you, assume that the more digits represent a more accurate representation of the amount of each sample, and most students feel the same way. The problem is that when you use many digits, you're telling the reader that you have used instrumentation accurate enough to measure each precise amount. Now, if this is true, that's good, it's fine. You can use the number of digits that correctly represent the precision of your measuring instrument and techniques. In this case, however, the starting amount was 32.5 milliliters. This measurement is only precise to three significant digits. Additionally, the lab supervisor seemed to realize that you were very unlikely to be able to divide the sample into so many samples accurate to a million trillion trillionth of a milliliter. Reporting such a long number falsely claims a precision that cannot be true. And that's just one reason why we use significant figures in the real world.